Hi Simmers, in this video I'm showing you how to go over the Trait Bundle mod, how to install that. But before we get going, let's head over to the I Am Simplicity Sim YouTube channel. If you guys want to win a free Sims 4 pack of your choosing, and you want to know how to enter all you have to do is sub to the i am simplicity sim youtube channel head over to twitch and follow the simplicity sim twitch channel and hop on either one of our streams which are tuesday thursdays and saturdays anywhere from 6 p.m to 9 p.m eastern standard time zone you can feel free to put the notifications on so you can be notified when we go live and you'll be able to head in on the stream and watch it and make sure you comment so that way i know who you are and i can enter you into the raffle all right if you're not if you have not subbed to the channel or the Twitch, but you just watched the stream, then that's not going to count because I will ask for proof when we are getting ready to do the giveaway if you win. So make sure you do those things. I'm seeing guys lots of love and light. I know you will love to get a free pack and I know that you're possible to win it. Now, the more streams you go to, the higher chance you have of winning because every comment on every stream that I do um that you're in like for example you watch two streams that's two tickets if you watch a stream for like full like from beginning to end you automatically get two tickets for that stream so there's ways to get more in in the raffle so you have a higher chance of winning i just want to make sure you guys knew that all right now when it comes to the trait bundle like i tell you guys with any mod please make sure you read through the description and when you're here you want to go ahead and click the link at the bottom and this file is going to download in the top right corner of your screen now what you're going to want to do is go to the file explorer icon at the bottom mac users you're going to select finder and then you will then click the download tab now if you guys have an extractor app when you click that download button the download folder of the zip opened already that's what the extractor app is supposed to do it opens the files and so you're going to get those pages that you see and you're going to copy them and paste them in your mods folder guys all right now for my windows users and mac users double click the downloads folder here you will see the trade bundle mod we're going to right click it and right click it and we're going to select extract all or extract depending on the computer mac users you're going to double click and it'll open in the blue folder or you can just right click mac users and select open now once the file is open it's going to show you there's a folder and a folder how do i know that because this is the folder we just opened and you double click there's another folder inside so pay attention to the next step so you do not mess this up we're going to go to the bottom of the screen and we're going to right click file explorer again for mac users it'll be new finder window and what you're going to do is locate the documents folder once you're here double click the electronic arts folder then the sims 4 and open up that mods folder once you're in the mods folder you want to go ahead and double click the trait bundle and double click it again this is what you should see inside is a ts4 script in the package we're going to go back and now we see the folder that is inside the folder we just opened so what we're going to do is grab this folder that is inside the folder that we just opened and put it in the mods folder when you double click this is all you should see if you double click that mod folder and it does not have that it has another folder in there that means you did it wrong all right and you may need to rewind this video people always ask me can i delete the files after i'm done yes you can delete the zip file after you're done it does not mess up the computer if you guys are brand new to installing mods please understand that you may only have resource cfg in the mod you just installed but make sure that you do your game option settings you need your script for mods and custom content enabled in order for your mods to work if you guys don't know how to do that i have a video covering that on how to do game option settings on my channel so check that out if you guys still need guidance and help you can feel free to go to simplicitysim.com website that link is in the description below and you can feel free to install any one of these ebooks and download them to your phone they will be there and readily available to help you with your download process all right guys so you guys lots of love and lots of light and until next time